After I added all the sweet potato, uh, for about 10 minutes, I pulled from the bottom port and then added back to the top into the boil, uh, just so that it gave the sweet potato time to break down. I didn't want it to sit at the bottom or scorch on the element. I wanted to get as much flavor and sugar out of the sweet potato as possible. Oh, and one more note. Um, I added the maple sugar, but didn't record it. All right, what's up? So this is the Thanksgiving beer. So already it kind of looks a little different uh, in person than it does on camera. It's a bit lighter in person, especially with the way the light hits it. Uh, I'll try to bring it closer to the camera. Uh, but yeah, lovely kind of uh, deep orange color. A uh, little bit of a brownness to it. Let me try to see if I can get some, some light here. Alrighty, anyways, enough of that. So very first thing on the nose is the maple. Um, I added maple sugar in the boil and also uh, actual maple syrup straight to the keg. Uh, only 100 grams. Uh, last year I added 150, I felt like it was a little bit too much, so uh, that was one of the tweaks I made for this batch. Um, Unfortunately, I, I used uh, vanilla extract, which I don't like using extract. Um, it was only a teaspoon though, so it didn't really come across in, in the, either the flavor or the beer. Uh, maybe a little bit in the flavor, Meyer, but um, uh, it's not something that like, you know, thankfully uh, doesn't dominate the beer. But So it's like, if anything, a nuance. But So yeah, right off the bat, a lot of maple on the nose. Bit of a uh, caramel and toffee notes, especially toffee actually. Um, then you get the cinnamon. Uh, there's quite a bit of cinnamon in this beer. Uh, the head lasts quite a long time too. It's still uh, just chilling there. Slightly, a little bit creamy looking, not, you know, full on like a nitro beer or anything like that. So yeah, mostly maple. Uh, then I would say cinnamon, and you get a little bit of that nutmeg too. Basically, it smells like a, a pumpkin beer, but it's not a pumpkin beer. Uh, I like to do things a little different, so that's why I went with the sweet potato. Um, I went with that last year as well. There's, this beer is pretty close to what it was last year with uh, a few minor changes to the grain bill, like I said. Well, actually, I didn't say that yet, but yes, <laughs> a few minor changes to the grain bill. So yeah, despite this beer finishing at 1010, it has quite a bit of body to it. Um, it's definitely not cloyingly sweet, uh, thanks to the 1010 finishing gravity. 
But yeah. I want a little uh, light on the carbonation with this beer as well. Uh, I didn't want it to be um, too, you know, highly carbonated. Um, it's kind of, it finishes slightly dry with the spices already. I think if it were any higher uh, carbonation, it would be too much. It would even have more of a drying effect. Yeah, you get the, a little bit of the maple in the flavor as well. Um, cinnamon definitely comes through in the finish. I don't really get any nutmeg. I really wouldn't know what that uh, tastes like anyways. I know what it smells like, that's for sure. So yeah, I think the, um, the sweet potato comes across in the same way. Like if you have uh, sweet potato fries, there's like a, a natural sweetness to them. Um, if, if at all it comes through in the beer, I would say it's in that way. Yeah, so the, um, the IBU has only come out to 21 in this beer, which uh, it's, it's just there to, to provide a little bit of balance. Um, as this is a beer I brew every year, uh, it's, it's something I make specifically for Thanksgiving. Uh, so I did bring it to my family's house and shared it with everybody. Uh, it was received well, which is very nice. Um, and because it's somewhat of a complex beer, it actually does pair well with um, Thanksgiving dinner. Like you're gonna have sweet potato probably as one of the sides, uh, you know, turkey, probably some dessert afterward. So yeah, it actually, uh, I don't know, it's very fitting. This is, this is what I'm looking for in fall beer. Um, attenuation, so this did finish a little drier than I wanted. Uh, last year it came out at 10, 12. Uh, I was hoping to get that same result this year. It did uh, finish a little drier. Um, that being said, it's not really an issue. All right, well, I'm just gonna try to keep this one uh, short and sweet. No pun intended. <laughs>